What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Blue Bug, back with the new series. We are here, or I'm here, and so is my brother. Bring the party. Hello. Yep. Yep. That was that was that supposed was, to be your cue. That's my there. entrance. That's my entrance. Uh, it wasn't a great one, but it was no. an entrance. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Yt. Here's my twin brother. Bring the party with 12,000 subs on YouTube. Ah, that's partnered the, on Twitch. Ah. That's the pitch you want me to do? Disgusting. <laughs> I'm in. Uh, awesome. Yeah, so if you could just load in, I'm going to chill here until you, uh, you know, get in here. <laughs> and then we will uh, start going over this. But this game is a lot like, uh, what is it, like Farmville? Kind of like Farmville. Uh, There's no storyline. You just kind of build a farm. You expand a farm. It's a lot of fun. Me and Josh walk in on my get on my right, my left, my left, my left. Yep, yep, yep. There, right, yep. Why are you so short? Dude, I still don't know. I don't even know how to make myself taller. It's like you're a child. Good enough. All right. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's start getting these plants watered. Uh, yeah. So it's a lot like Farmville in that there's no storyline. You just kind of build a farm. And, you know, you do it together. That's why I got Josh here to uh, help me have a little friendly banter while we tend our farm. This is going to be one of those series you wake up in the morning. You, you hit that old curry, get that warm brewski. That, that I'm talking about a uh, coffee and not a beer. Oh, uh, so, you, so you, talking about a hot beer. A hot beer. <laughs> uh, you get that warm brewski going. That hot beer. And, and you uh, pop on some farm together and listen to us banter for 20 minutes. It'll be great. I think I'm going to. Is this like the podcast you always wanted? You won't let me do a podcast because we can't agree on the rating for the podcast. No, 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 no. I said I'd participate in a podcast. I said I will not swear or encourage certain lingo in said podcast. You're like, let's do a PG podcast. Never seen one that's successful. <laughs> Name one good PG podcast. All my crime podcasts, they talk about, like, real heavy Murder. topics. Murder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I wouldn't consider those PG, although they don't intentionally swear. Yeah, I hear that. I'm planting oh, carrots. No. Name one at PG podcast. Any money podcast. They're always PG. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do an informative podcast about money. I bet my freaking Farm Together viewers will love that. That's totally right up their alley. And your Sims viewers definitely want to listen to you talk about freaking simoleons for an hour. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to Okay. Do here. Now, what, 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 I <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? What is going on? <laughs> Did I just join this 20-minute, half-hour episode to be <laughs> roasted? <laughs> yo, yo, do a uh, do one of those garden things. We, we got to sell some veg a vegetable stand. Oh, okay. You yeah, want to yeah. explain everything to them? Ooh, I don't think I nope. opened up a uh, nope. thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll run through it once we get that vegetable stand up one second. Yeah, I'll yeah, then I'll sell, it. and I can harvest while you talk to him about everything. I'll Tell him how the game out. works. Yep. All right, so we'll start. Oh, action not allowed. Can you uh, give me permissions first? Uh, yeah, how do I do that? Escape. Escape. Yep. Farm uh, settings. Farm settings. Uh, friends. Full. Oh, wait, that's wrong. Other cool part is you're gonna let people join us too, right? If they catch you while you're recording? Uh maybe. Well that means they gotta Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well if they wanna just join the server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Of course. If they're if it's they, a public domain. Yeah. I think at some point, maybe if the series gets, you know, maybe a hundred or a couple hundred views or something, we get a little maybe a little cult following of people that want to join. I would totally like be like, all right, I'll record this, do a little communities post me, like I'll record this at I don't know. One, I would do a live episode of like this. Eight, this is going to be one of those games like Animal Crossing where you're never that far ahead. You're not recording yeah. 10 episodes out, I don't think. Yeah. Be like, yeah, I could do like uh, 8 p.m. on Friday. If anyone's around, come uh, pop onto the server type thing. I could do yeah. a community post on it. Uh, I'm going to wait until the new season for uh, Peanuts. So we have okay. enough plots for that. Actually, wait, we have plenty of plots. I'll do some more. Maybe I'll just do some. Wait, tech. is that your current quest? I don't even know what your current quest is. I thought. Do we not have the same quest to start? No, absolutely not. Uh, I need you apple. Have apple and, and peanuts. peanuts. Yeah, we actually do have the same quest. Last time we didn't. So I need twenty peanuts. Got it. Um, Wait, hurry up and place your apples. 
If you place your apple trees, you can trigger them before the next uh, season, and you can be done with the apple side instead of having to wait an additional uh, season. Uh, I still haven't walked through how this works. At some point, I will. It's strong. Thanks. Um, okay, <laughs> let me walk through how this works. Uh, I'm terrible at this, I guess. I, you think I'd be better at this by now. Okay, so plants can be harvested. They're planted and harvested once on just a timer. They can only be planted in certain seasons. Trees can be planted, but they're only harvestable in certain seasons. And they become harvestable once per season. So every time this little timer in the upper right hits a season that's marked on the harvest for that tree or plant tree, it becomes harvestable. Pigs and animals can have to be fed with money to be harvested, and then they're just on a cooldown. Fish don't have to be fed or taken care of. They just run on a strict cooldown basis. Flowers are harvestable based on time, but you water them to make them more valuable. It's a big investment, but a big payout. I think that's it. Then you have, like, your shop where you buy items that you could like sell all your goodies to have your decorations your fences and your roads and on roads you run faster did, did it feel like i hit everything there did i miss anything yeah i think the only other thing is um as your farm upgrades you get tractors you got to start building houses you got to start decorating it gets pretty cool there you go yep that's how that works uh yeah yeah I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm, uh, we, we've already recorded this episode twice, I think. Or, well, I guess three. This is our fourth fourth time recording fifth. this because... This is our fifth Farm Together episode and only our second one that's going live. <laughs> yeah, because what happened was, I guess the music's copyrighted, which is fine. Whatever. I, I But the dude said the... It, like, uh, they, they made it like a point to mention who directed the music and then he's like no the music's free and then we josh went and uploaded his first videos and he got copyright claims on all of them so we shall which what? is contrary to what people think it is people are gonna say wait they they gave you a strike oh, no, 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 no 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 they just take no. all your ad rev yeah they or don't they don't you, you, of them. Yeah. yeah you don't even get in trouble like they're just like oh you can't you're gonna be monetized but you can't get money for it and i'm like okay well well, it's just like okay. one of those things where it's like, eh, what's well, just worth re-recording? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Have you ever been copyright striked before? I literally got my. Oh, I think I. Well, I guess I talked about this in the video we threw away. Yeah, and then I. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got copyright striked just on a Minecraft video. Really annoying because then I look up the song, and <laughs> some guy I think literally stole the Minecraft music and made it into an actual. Well, not even. I'm gonna say an actual song. He just t stole the Minecraft music and copyright claimed it, and. Uh, without minecraft's permission so now he has right to this one song so anytime that song comes on when i'm recording a minecraft video i get hit with a uh i get hit with uh losing all my ad rev to someone who's not affiliated with minecraft that is atrocious i feel like th mm, maybe it's not a prop no i've heard a plenty of bigger youtubers talk about it being a problem that people do that type of stuff where it's like i can't believe it's that, that typical yeah, it's kind of, it's messed up. Like, it's not, especially, you're literally, one, stealing all these creators' money, and then you're also stealing the music from a game mm -hmm. that was offering it for free as part of, like, the game. So people yeah. would want to upload it. And then you could make people, well, I guess Minecraft's so big it doesn't matter. People aren't going to sit there and not record Minecraft because they could potentially lose their ad rep because it's just such a big game but like for a small if a smaller indie game that happened to yeah that could uh really mess them up i remember back in the day i got uh, i got a bunch of ad strikes for um <clears throat> copyright strikes whatever you want to call them, uh for uh sims 3 sims 3 did this really interesting thing where they did all this crossover with uh your apple your fruit are full but i don't think you have a fruit stand and you can't afford i was one, looking so. for one yeah i can't they're over a thousand um so they did all these crossovers with Simlish songs, making real songs Simlish, like Black Eyed Peas. They had a Katy Perry pack, and it was playing in the background of one of my episodes uh, from the radio in the Sims game. And it freaking said I stole their music. And I was like, 
So now I can't listen to the radio in The Sims 3, and I'm very upset about because I love... The Sims 3 music is my favorite music. Well, it's great. Well, they did that big campaign oh. where they played that song by... Uh, uh, it's called Savior, I think. What? Who's it by? Oh, Rise Against. It Rise was Savior. Rise Against. Savior by for, Rise... Uh, for their Get to Work. Was, get to Work. Get to... It wasn't good. Their it edition was, of it. It was yeah, like yeah, firefighters yeah, in like... Oh, I completely forgot about that. And it was this completely... wicked sick video. I was like, this song's great. And I was like, but they're not speaking English. What is this? And I actually thought it was just a different language. No, it's Sims Simlish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. You want to plant those nuts? Uh, we, we could plant a couple nuts. I don't mind. We could get a couple nuts going. Couple nuts, couple, couple, we, uh, couple, couple nutty buddies. What are they called, Noah? What are they nutter? Are they nutty buddies? Are they nutter butters? The nutter what, butters. Those but. wafer towers. Uh, you're doing the uh, oh, what's that YouTuber's name? You're Olin the, Rogers. Olin Rogers. I love what? that guy. Final Space was the name of his, uh, his TV show. His TV show. Oh, that he made. Yeah, so good. One, probably one of the best YouTube to like TV show moves. Outside of yeah. a lot of what uh, the comedian Bo Burnham does, he does a lot of really. He's directed like I think multiple really good movies. Yeah, that's so cool. It's nice to see people kind of get out of the, like their realm. Yeah. That's... I. What stinks though is a lot of YouTubers I feel like are getting out of their realm, but they're just getting like YouTube Reddit and making these crappy YouTube. TV shows and movies. I haven't watched any YouTube movies. Maybe they're actually good quality. I actually don't know. I have no idea. I would I would doubt it. I, I would doubt it as well. I haven't watched it, and I feel like it's for, uh, I'm not going to say good reason, but good reason. I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to be the worth highest. the investment. Yeah, well, I'm like, well, Netflix keeps doing that. Netflix bought the rights to Addison Ray, maybe? The D'Amelios? One of them. And they just made the crappiest uh, YouTube, like, YouTuber movie TV show that was a Netflix. But it did so well, the day it released, they bought the rights for a second one. Because oh. they just have these really cult followings. Like, they're not even cult. They're massive. They just have these huge fan groups. Mm -hmm. These huge groups of fans that love their content. And, hey, by all means. And I bet they like the movies. I guess... I wonder if I went back and watched like High School Musical. Would that still stand up to the test of time, or was it just great when I was a kid? Like that's kind of like their High School Musical. Like uh, with High School Musical. No, you. I love Zac Efron. I love Vanessa Hutchins. Okay. You put them together, it sounds like a great movie. But <laughs> High School Musical could have been. <laughs> what do we think it was good? Do you not think it was good? You think it still stands? Oh, you're asking if I. Okay, hold up. Maybe High School Musical was. Me. Uh, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say if we rewatch it, we'd say no. I actually really like this TikToker who rewatches old Disney Channel, like straight to Disney Channel movies. Mm. Like um, like Cadet Kelly, for example. Well, that thing was a banger. That would still stand up to the test of time. <laughs> Have you rewatched it? I actually did. When Disney did it Plus stand up, or... <laughs> did it stand up to the test of time? <laughs> when Disney Plus came out, I rewatched it. And it was okay. Ah. Like, <laughs> it wasn't bad I'm not sure if I would watch it On my free time Like what am I comparing it to Like am I comparing it to like Whiplash Like, <laughs> like you, Am I comparing you, it to a triple to... A movie Is that... <laughs> Yeah like Do you want to compare it to that Do you want to compare it to like a straight DVD Am I comparing it to Sharknado Like uh. <laughs> 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 I guess it depends on your comparison. If you're just comparing it to, like, any movie, yeah, yeah I don't think it would be in the top 100. <laughs> you don't think it would be up there next to, like, Fight Club and, like, uh, that movie with, uh, oh, my good, Pulp Fiction? You don't think it would be up there with, uh, <laughs> you don't think it goes, I, uh, Fight Club, it, the, the list goes Fight Club. You, you don't Cadet think it would be a Kelly, Robert De Niro? Pulp, <laughs> Pulp <no>. Fiction, no. <laughs> uh... 
Uh, you don't think it's like a starry form? No, you don't, you don't no, think it's like a Bradley it. Cooper, Lady Gaga combo? Lady yeah. Gaga never acted. Pretty much the same playing uh, field. Honestly, if we no. watched High School Musical, it's literally a star is born, but for adults. It's literally <laughs> for kids. Star is yeah. born, but for kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> High School Musical is just the kids' version of a star is born. Yeah, it's that argument, really. It's <laughs> No, I... Um... No, it doesn't stand up to test time. Ah. <laughs> and on that, no, 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 absolutely not. No way, no way. It's uh, good. It's, it's it's still good, but it doesn't. Uh, no, Cadet Kelly's good. I haven't watched. Well, you I, know I what? I, well, I think you were there. We went back before that party. We went back and watched Project X. Oh and my God, that still great movie. Is that was a triple A? It was in the theaters. Not triple A. Didn't really have any famous actors at the time, but uh. But that might be like. Rewatching it, that might be a top five for me. Like, there's something. Wait, really? Like, it hits you that hard? There's something about that movie that hits different. I can't. Dude, it was revolutionary one. at the time. It was so poorly rated, but it was revolutionary for our, like our years. That and like super bad. Those two movies made mm -hmm. my childhood. No, dude, they really did. I I wonder if any of your viewers feel the same. Like those movies, they'd have to be like literally our age. They'd have to be like. 25 to 30 like that would kind of be the age you have to be for one of those movies to have a big impact even 25 might be a little young um but those well but we I, went back and rewatched it dude it's great Maybe. i show the time we rewatched it was the first time my girlfriend ever watched it and that first time joey did too and there and she's what like 20 whatever she's like mid 20s she's a little bit younger than me a few years and joey's younger than that and neither one of them ever watched. I was like, how have you not watched these movies? They were rolling. It's so fun. It's, it's so for anyone who's going back and going to say, hey, Josh and Noah recommended, hey, Big Blue Book Gaming and Bring Party recommended it. They make a lot of no longer acceptable jokes in it. It was a different time. Not that different. It was like 10 years ago. But they made like a lot of like uh, questionable jokes that I don't think flies today. Even if you go back to like old Bo Burnham stuff and stuff. Well, like, if you go, well, Bo Burnham at the time was even risky. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Bo Burnham you go made, like, back and it's like, holy crap. Yeah, you but can't say it anymore. You know, oh, but, like, it's, it's, but it's, it, if you have that type of sense of humor, it still it still holds a little. Yeah, it, holds a little giggle in you. It's raunchy, but like it's funny as long as as long as that's your humor. If if you're not into like the kind of make fun of everyone type of humor, uh, you probably won't like it. But poke fun at yourself, poke fun at other people. It's that's the humor. I feel it's, like that's it's a pretty good, funny. Uh, I feel like that's a good trait to have, though. You have to be able to laugh at yourself. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm. You, dude. Me and you, we literally roast each other all day. Like well, that, that. That's what these videos I'm, are. That, I think that's our. That's a whole house. It's. I. I remember, first time, my. I don't know. First time the lady made it to the house, she's like, "What is going on?" <laughs> we're all just freaking <laughs> shooting shots at each other for like an hour. And, and, well, I was, yeah. Well, I know sometimes for sometimes when she's over, you guys do it on purpose, and she's looking at me, and she knows I'm getting a little like I'm gonna start swinging. <laughs> so funny! It's so funny. <laughs> and she's like, "You're good." I was like, oh, "I'm gonna kill him." <laughs> well, it, it reminds me of like it's our friend group, like. We, we'd make fun of each other, you know? But if someone was actually in a tight spot, it would be like, oh, dude, you're stupid. Nah, man, I'm really in a bad spot. Oh, dude, what's going on? You know? <laughs> dude, you we, we'd what can I do? Yeah, we, we'd yeah. change like a second. We'd actually be like, oh, dude, what can we do to help? Like, yeah. it would be a completely different. It's it's kind of like, oh, grow up. Oh, wait, seriously? What up? Like, how, <laughs> how can we help? And that's, that's our friend group in a nutshell. Yeah, like, yeah. we're joking around until we're not, until something like serious is going on. And then we're like, no, seriously, what can yeah. we do? Because yeah. we actually. All said and done, we love each other. We all do. We all love each other. It's all friends and goofs and gaps, but really, we want to make sure everyone's doing well. Yeah. That's why, like, we poke fun at each other. I I always make the joke uh, with my coworkers, actually. Uh, only my close coworkers. I say, if I make fun of you, it's because I really like you. Because I would never make fun of someone I actually didn't like, because I feel like that's bad taste. <laughs> like, if I didn't like <laughs> someone, I wouldn't taste. just start roasting them, because I'm like, I'm not a bully. But if I'm making fun of someone, it's because I'm very comfortable with them. Like, that's my mindset. Like, I'm super comfortable with you, so I'm willing to kind of poke fun at some stupid things I know won't hurt your feelings, but it's funny. You know what I mean? Mm, mm. 
Okay, on that Even note. Even in the... I, well, oh, is that the end of the episode? Yeah, oh. yeah, we're here. Oh. We're here. Next Love episode, it. we'll be getting them... Uh, We'll be getting a couple the nuts. nuts. The nuts. Mm -hmm. We'll be picking them nuts out. Love be great. It. Uh, but I really appreciate everyone's time. This series is probably going to go up either daily or every other day. And we're just going to be doing what we did this episode. You know, shooting a little shit. Having a good time. Goofs, gaffs. It's, I feel like it's more podcast-like in that. But we're just tending to the farm. going to expand this. And at some point, I'll end up inviting uh, viewers onto the farm with communities posted. If we got enough of you guys. So... Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate your time, viewership. If you want to check out Josh's channel, he has a very he has essentially the same series on his channel with different stories, different laughs, different goofs, different gaffs. So you can go up to his channel in my communities tab and make sure you like uh, this video as it's the first video in a series and it helps the series more than you know. Other than that, guys, I'll see all of you in that next one. Bye.